Salaman, Salaman. So today we are going to start lecture 29. So same title, Who was Jibrail and Mikael, but it's part two. In the last lecture, I discussed in detail about the Jibrail in the light of the Hadith, Islamic Fiqah, and you have watched all the details. So this is all fairy tales, you know. This is all fabrication. They have taken the image from Greek, from Bible, from Hinduism, from Zoroastrian. So they consider that is a Jibrail. And then how Jibrail, you know, did the surgeon job for Muhammad. And also how he was helping Muhammad and how he destroyed the loose city. So this is all, you know, fairy tales. It's a, this is the reason we have been humiliated everywhere because this is a religion you have, this is a nation we have. So let me discuss today Jibrail from the Quranic point of view. So Jibrail is from the term Al-Jabra, which is a noun, comes from the Arabic words. Its meaning is a union of the broken part of anything or affair. So this is Look, this Quranic Federation was a great Federation. And Quran says it's a Rabbul Alameen. It doesn't mean that he is the, Allah is the, you know, owner of all the world. He is the Rabb of all the world. If he is the Rabb of all the world, why the people are sleeping without food? Why all the Muslim countries, they are in a emulation condition. Why this, you know, injustice everywhere? 75% population of this beautiful planet, they are under pressure, you know. They are in a slavery. They are in a, you know, bad condition. So where is our life? If he is the owner of this world, why is he not taking care about them? So this is the reason this is a wrong translation. Alameen based on the ilm, knowledge. So this Quranic Federation was based on the all kind of knowledge of the Quran, Rabbul Alameen, Lashar of, of the, for the all kind of knowledge. That is the reason its territory were in Syria, in Greek, in Europe, in Africa, in China, in Asia, this was the reason. It is not based on, after that, what happened, you know, all our kings and queen, you know, they destroy everything. And whatever the Islam now we have, it is not a Quranic Islam. It is 180 degree against from the Quran. And look now, I'll give you the, this uh, education of Jibrail from the Quranic point of view. And you can see. Now see, you can imagine what the Hadith has given you and what the Quran is giving. It is a 180 degree east. So the term algebra has the rules Jim Bera. Main computation, addition of something for the purpose of preparation are perfection, compensative, and subtraction for the restoration and compensation, like a square minus b square is equal to a minus b, a plus b. Therefore, the Quranic verses are like algebra. Look how beautifully they are arranged for the reforming and restoration of the society. The term Al-Jabbar and Jibrail are from the same roots. 
signifies powerful constructive forces of Allah for the forming of the society. And heel means servant or service forces. All these verses or the surah of the Quran, they are powerful if you utilize it, if you make the government based on that. Otherwise, a recitation or just saying, oh, Quran is a blessing, it's a holy book, nothing will help you out. You are living in utopia. You now, Jibrail is a genitive masculine proper noun. This, heel I have given you. Proper noun. It is a combination of particle lam. This is lam is for the emphatic purpose. And then jabal and eel. There are three combinations. So lam is a prefix. Preposition and intensi intensifying particle, amphoteric particle. Signified indeed, no doubt, or surely, or certain and truly. This is Arabic, you know, grammar is saved. Where the sometimes words lam come, it means it's indeed, no doubt, surely, truly. And there's another word, anna, indeed. So this is a lam. And Jabbar signifies his set, he repa or repaired his broken arm or leg from fractured state to normal state by applying an appropriate force. That force would join the broken legs or broken arms. You know, in the olden days, they put the supplants and they put that much force which bring it the broken leg or arm to its original position. So that force is known as jabber, along with the application of the supplants, wooden pieces. It is known now plaster cost. Now they call it plaster, you know. And I have bring the images for you. This is now we are using plaster cost. But in the go to 50 years, 100 years, 200 years back, they were using the supplants, wooden, and put on the broken arm or leg, and they tied with the, they used the force to bring that bone, fracture bone, to the original position. That is known as Jabbar, Jabril, Jabbar. Now, in the hospital, they are using this. So, Another term, Ashtabar, he restored a man or community or country or nation from a state of poverty to a wealth. The Quran is doing this. Make the society. Abundance law of the Quran, they will rectify your position. Or competence or sufficiency by applying the Quranic principle. Then, Jabaratun supplants are piece of wood with which the broken bones are set, are improved, are recovered from a fractured state or a bone which are put upon a diseased or a broken part of the person it to reduce or bring back to sound state. So they put the supplants and then tank it. So this is Jabarat. Jabar. Computation or the addition of something for the purpose of repression. Something add. You are adding the force over there. Representation. Algebra. Perfective addition and compensative subtraction or restoration or compensation because of the frequency of these operations in the reduction on the equation contrary to the Qadr. So Qadr is different, values, measures, but Jabbar is a force. And now Jabbar, who magnify himself, behaves proudly and heartily, and does not hold any one to have any claim upon him, like all our Muslim ruler, like all democratic ruler. They are all like this. 
wherever they have the army, they have the police, they have the security, or one who slays when in anger, or one who slays unjustly, or dominating by absolute force and power. Look Saudi Arabia. Nobody can talk. Look in Pakistan, military, nobody can talk. And all this shame democracy, they are saying democracy. So nothing. Look what happened. They cannot talk against them. What happened in Canada now? When this truck driver, they, they, protested, they protested. They put them behind the bar. So force, power, tyrannical, or anyone who exalts himself are insulin in pride, rebellious, disobedience, excessive, immoderate. So this is Jabal. Jabril, that force which you put, only that much force which bring the broken bones or fractured bones to its original position. But Jabal, overforcing, destroying, unjustly, dominating, tyrannical, rebellious, Disobedient forces. So this is the difference between Jabbar and Jabbar. And the Quran has cleared it in the verse in verse 5.22. The Quran has used the term Jabbarin for a tyrannical, insolent, haughty, and rebellious nation, Firon. Firon was also Jabbar. That dynasty was very cruel. Kalu Yamusa inna fi common Jabbar. When Musa asked them, let me go. Talk to the, you know, Firon, Ramesh II. They said, no. For oh, Musa, indeed, indeed, in it, in this society, there are people who are very far powerful, wealthy, and self sufficient in it. Common Jabbarin. So, this is a difference between Jibrail and Jabbar. Al-Jabra and Jabari. There are other verses too, but you can go yourself. Jibrail signify that force are the Quranic teaching which rebuild the nation from a state of poverty to wealth, just like a fracture bones or broken bone. Same thing Quran did. If you apply, if you make a government based on the Quranic laws, it will recover the broken society into a normal position. Economic wise, justice wise, social system, you know. Allah will never do it. You have to do it. You have the Quranic constitution, but the problem is two million billion people they don't understand the Quran. What the this has given them, because they are following that. Imam, all the Imam, what they have written, it is their Islam. Or self-sufficiency by establishing the rules of the Quran. So this is Jibrail. Therefore, the term Jibrail stands for the doctrine, doctrine, doctrines of the Quran. The Quran itself is known Jibrail because by enforcing the principle of the Quran, we can liberate and, and unite the humanity from all kinds of destruction forces and fragmentation. This is the, the Quran claim in 297. <clears throat> Here, Anjalna does not mean the Jibrail was bringing. This rain is coming from up to down, Najalna. It means Jibrail is bringing. If you go to Middle East country, when there is a big sale, they put the sign Tanjilat. Tanjilat e Kabira. Do you think Jibrail bring the sale for them? No. And Nadala means refinement. 
when you know there is a snow or flood, you know when where the flood is, the first part of the flood is going, it is cleaning the river. So same thing, Nazarla mean these Quranic verses, when you put in the society, they will clean the society like a rain, like a, like a flood, like a storm, and like a snow flowing. So this is, and Kalabak does not mean heart. <clears throat> Kala mean mind is from the revolution, from inkalab. Inkalab or revolution come by the thinking. And the mind is your organ which start thinking. And after that, a revolution start, inkalab start. <coughs> so this is the very important. Why the, the Kala, they call the Kala heart? Because it is the only organ in the human body which has been suspended inversely. That is why they call him Kalab. But no Quran is coming, and, and, you know, and Tanzil or come down on the Kalab of the Muhammad. Nothing. It's all, you know, stories. And there was no, where is Jibreel now? Is Judith finished? So these are the questions you should ask yourself. <clears throat> and this translation they destroy us. Look, Sir Muhammad, peace be upon. Where is the Muhammad over here? Why they put the bracket over there? Where is the Muhammad over here? This is the conspiracy. Whoever is an enemy to Jibrahim, <clears throat> let him die in his fury. For indeed, he has brought it this Quran. <coughs> he has brought the Quran. Down to your heart by Allah permission. If you go to these, there are different stories. Abhi Zamzam, Moya Zamzam, Zamzam water, wash it with. Then the sink they have is a gold. Then Jibrail took out the cloths. It was a shaitan. It's a different story. <coughs> <coughs> and now Torah. Torah. This is the, what I am, you know, explaining you. Where is the Torah over here? And Torah is Quran also. It is not a separate book. <coughs> Torah and Anjil. They are, the, they are the other name of the, just like Jibrail is the name of the Quran. Furqan, name of the Quran. So many other names of the Quran. And name, name. Injil, where? Tell me where in this any Jibrail <coughs> or Injil. Torah means shining knowledge. Injil mean to to harvest the result guideline. So these are the other name of the Quran. So now gospel. Now they bring look. This is a, what happened with us. Tell me any word over here. Torah, gospel, nothing. And here Jibrail. Peace be upon, and then where is the Muhammad name of here? So open your eyes, wake up. This is the best book we have. <coughs> now, make an announcement. Call. Mankana Adul Jabri. Who can commit aggression or create differences? Adu. Adu has two meanings enemy and dividing the humanity in, into different, you know, sect or creating difference. So what Quran is saying, make announcement who can commit aggression or create difference against the Quranic law Jibrail. But we made it. We divided them. 
we did the criminal act and there is a Quran. You cannot understand the Quran. It is their claim without Hadith. You cannot understand. You include the Hadith. You should follow <coughs> this translation of the, you know, this, uh, you know, this, uh, <coughs> who wrote the first translation? <coughs> Tabri, Imam Tabri. He wrote all this thing. His translation is based on the heresy. And then after that, all these all translators, they follow him. But here I am taking, I am giving the grammar, language ways. It is not from me. It is from the grammar, from the language. Then Ibn Kasir, he put the another layer upon a layer of darkness. So this is the adu mean to enemy and difference against the Quran. We have created difference in the Quran. She are saying different thing. Sunni are saying different thing. And Amdi are saying that the same Quran which was given to Muhammad, the same Quran was given to Mirza Ghulam. British. This is a problem here. Certainly, we, the Quranic authority, have delivered for refinement of the society. It's a Quranic, you know, central department. Nazla mean he was delivering the instruction. Sending, communicating, Nazla mean. Very good word. Upon your mind, according to the Quran, there was a school, universities, researches. Now we are going to start the, you know, I think we are doing our best. The translation of the Quran on a daily basis. You will get a lot of things. Nazalla ala kalbet. Upon your mind, there was a school, college, central department for the Quranic research, education, not for recitation, not for swab. It's a debate book. One word, for camel, they have 3,000 words. For sword, they have 500. So which word you will put over there? It's a research work, which I'm doing. It's my try. It's not a final word. So according with Allah's law, based on Allah, based on Allah, it is not azan. This azan was given to you by Zoroastrian to validate. What validate? If you take the Quran now and check the 57 Islamic country constitution, it will easily tell you whether it is according to the Quran or not. You have shame democracy, you have dynasties, you have a dictatorship, you have an army dictator, that's it. Masadak Allah. Validate. Quran does not validate this. <coughs> what is in front of you? What form of government you have? Now you compare it. But they, they put the Quran for to recite near the head of the deceased for getting the swab and for other, you know, dead rituals. You know. So, contemporary ideology you have, what you have now. Lema baina yadai, what you have in your hand, what strength you have, what force you have, compare it with. Masadakalla now. And it is a guide line. Tell me, where is the guideline? It is just for reciting, for praying, for all other Mambo Jumbo. And live broadcasting program, Bushara, Bashara. If you put this Quranic constitution in 50 Islamic country or other country, it will, other poor country, it is also a live program. That dead nation will become a living nation. 
for those who are actively working for peace and tranquility. But you have to work. <coughs> you have to work for peace. Mu'mineen, not believer, peace activist, according to the Quran. So this is a one definition of the Jibreel. Other 298. Man kana wa wa Here Quran added Mikael. kafirun. What is the Mikael? Is a genitive muscular proper noun. Wakul. He left him to his opinion or judgment to manage his affairs. Those people who discuss with you Quran and then leave you, you decide. Your judgment, no force. Then Vukla Bashai, he appointed the commissioner or the administrator or barrister or legal representative or associate vakil, barrister, lawyer, advocate. Same word. <coughs> the verses of the Quran these are the head commissioner full of argument. So this is the Quran again, Mikhail. The term also signify representative, advocate, defender, just in the judge. So these verses of the Quran, Surah of the Quran, they are defender of the humanity. They fight your case. Why? With to put one absolute interest in based on the immutable laws or protector, witness, granted. Immutable, nobody. The law is same for the king or the queen or for the high person or low person. So, man kana Again, Yusuf Ali, whoever is an enemy of Allah. Now, and his angels and his messenger to Jibrail and Mikhail, lo, Allah is an enemy to those who reject it. Look, Allah is their enemy. <clears throat> who can violate the command or make disintegration of Allah's principle in the Quran? Man kaan You cannot change the the rules are sitting over. You change the translation. And honorable leaders or authority, malaika to, it's a plural, collective noun. Malaika, group of leaders, including male and female. It is not only angels or nothing like that. Look, Malka. The wife of the the present Sultan, sorry, this uh, Suleiman, his wife is a Malka. He is a Malak. So Malaika means male and female leaders, authority. Like Maryam, she was also Malaika. <clears throat> and his messenger, you can be his messenger or message. Any person who is delivering the message of the Quran is a messenger. When Nehru came to visit, visited to Egypt, so the Nasser welcomed him by saying, He is the Rasulul Amin, messenger of the peace. And now we make, Oh, messenger, he is a prophet. This prophet. Forecasting, it is from the Bible. It is their letter. Who was making the forecasting is a prophet. But the Quranic messenger is a representative, governor, authority. So leader and messenger and the Quran, Jibrail, and his commissioner or administrator or barrister who are advocating it, who are giving the argument in the meetings, in the discussion about the Quran, they are all Mikhail, they are all advocate of the Quran. Certainly, Allah's law 
alag lar and in a state of hostility with those who disacknowledge the peaceful program lil kafirin quran does not distinguish between muslim and non muslim muslim mean any person who is fighting against the you know evil corruption in the muslim whether is a jew whether is a christian whether is a hindu whether is american regardless of that and kafirin who disacknowledge the peaceful program that is the reason quran does not involve religion because if the quran will say non muslim it will be discrimination based on the religion which saudi arabia did they have put the non muslim gal muslim in way to madina gal muslim in way to makka muslim and gal even they made the their path their roads muslim and non muslim what you can do what you can expect from them and <clears throat> in the verse the principle of the quran jibril are your buddies in bringing peace and safety in the society this is 66th word inna tawbu ila allah faqad sagatu qulubakum wa inna tazhira alayha fa inna allah wa huwa mawlahu wa jibril wa salil mu'minin wal malaikati budu zalika zahir if both parties you know there is a conflict so where quran bring this is a quranic tradition giving them the lecture those party who who are out to each other differences in each other which are in discussion process come back tawab tatu come back from the wrong path to the right path this is tawaba not repentance towards allah's law there then certainly you have motivated your minds kuluba kuma two parties but if you both oppose him his peaceful mission wa in tazhira alayhi if you oppose it then indeed allah's laws are your body the people who are asking them okay, let us sit together so the allah's laws with those people who are joining these two party which rebuild the nation from a state of poverty or from a broken state to a self sufficiency you know the difference in the opinion the disintegration in the society is a broken state of society just like in pakistan now just like all the 57 country muslim country they are in a broken state they are not self sufficient so what quran is saying doctrines which rebuild the nation from a state of poverty or from broken state to a self sufficient jibril algebra according to the quran and group of reformers pasala these are the people of the quran who are active for peace lal mu'minin not believer or fear the nothing and the powerful leadership al malaika are act after you so both party they are saying okay you sit together we are with you we are reformer we have a quran we have a powerful leadership to back you in this peaceful mission so this is the meaning of the jibril these are the three verses only where the word jibril has come and i have discussed with you all this if you have any discussion if you have any feedback please do write me but please think upon this what we did in justice with the quran jibril was not any messenger or malaika or angel or 
he, he was bringing the, you know, this uh, revelation to Muhammad and all the other messenger, or he was not that he took to Muhammad to the ascension or mirage, nothing like that. It's all fabrication. Zoroastrian, biblical. So the next lecture will be, I receive the request Harut and Marut. After this, the next next lecture will be Harut and Marut. The same thing they did over there. <coughs> if you understand the Quran based on the language, any language, any book, based on the rule and regulation of the language, you will never dislocate you. You will never be going the wrong way. Look, I have given you. It's open. Come, discuss. Tell me where I'm wrong. I will rectify myself. It's a possible right translation. <clears throat> but come with the with the this translation, not fairy tales. Hadith said this, Sunnah said this, Muhammad said this. No. You know, there are millions of people. They use the name of Muhammad. Millions of Hadiths, millions of people to distort the <coughs> education of the Quran. And that is the reason of what we have now. What Muslim we have? Same. Now they are gone. Finish. Thank you very much.